Good morning, Practical Rebels. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, and i got to give you a little backstory today before we hit the card. Believe, good, good cup for today. So, backstory is, I woke up this morning in a funk, and I'm like, why am I in a funk? Good morning, Beth, glad you are here. And I recalled that I had a dream. Can't remember a thing about the dream. Just remember that it had a real heavy, depressed feeling to it. So I think I carried that feeling into my morning today. Welcome to whomever else has popped on. Glad you're here. And I thought, okay, got to bust out of this. This is not pleasant. Good morning, Lucy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So calling on my Tony Robbins training, I decided I needed to change my state. So I took the dog out for a brisk walk, made my nose all red. It's crispy out there. So all of the areas that are flooded from the raining are now little skating rinks. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Um, but I felt like that state change was really important and that the card for today was going to yield a message. You know, what am I doing here? What am I meant to be focusing on? What do I have to, what's my next step, etc., etc. So wait till you see the card. It's pretty funny. So we have the Native Spirit deck by Denise Lynn. And the card, which we've seen recently, is Flowing River. Flowing River. And I'm not sure if that's a sunrise or a sunset, but very pretty picture. All right, so let's get our flow going. Good morning, Peggy, glad you are here. Some nice deep belly breaths, breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And I just got a little download. I think we're gonna be doing some tapping today. So let's see what our card has to tell us first, and then we'll do some tapping. Flowing river. Tapping is also a great way to change your state. Flowing River, card meaning, everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting, good morning, Cindy, aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. It's time to let go. You're entering a period of gracious ease and flow as long as we get out of our own way, right? As long as we're not demanding that it be going differently or faster or whatever, it's flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. Let go of the shore and enjoy the ride. And for those who like certainty, letting go of the shore is one of the scariest pieces of this whole thing. Because, and then you're hanging on and the flow is going and you're kind of like, you know, when you let go and you move with the flow, Diane and I had a wonderful, um, dinner last night and then we went to we had pizza it was lovely and then we went to Dairy Queen for dessert <laughs> we're, we're living all out <laughs> and then we went and sat by the river and watched the water flow and it was flowing fast it was fun watching the geese and the ducks good morning Mel glad you're here paddle upstream and then ride down and then paddle upstream and ride down they were having quite the fun so your native spirit wants you to know Rivers have personality and carry energy, just as animals and plants do. Ah, you had pizza too. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, they have a special that is double sausage and double mushrooms, and then you can add two more ingredients. So I went for black olives and green olives, and she just wanted the black olives. So it was yummy. Yes. From the Maoris to the Australian Aborigines and to other native cultures throughout the world, it's believed that it's important to listen to the language of the river. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations or that you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others to support and help you. How many of us are really not good at allowing others to assist us? No, no, I got this, I can do this. That fierce independence thing that ends up kicking us in the butt periodically. So accept help, graciously accept help. Heed the Native American saying, it's best to ride the horse in the direction that it's going. In other words, don't buck the tide, flow with, flow with, not fight against. 
This means that when the card flowing river chooses you, you are being told to let go and go with the flow. If there is something or someone you need to forgive, this is the time. It's also the time to forgive yourself and just let go. The journey, as you shower and the water flows over your body, imagine that everything is flowing in your life. Spend time next to a river or stream and watch flowing waters. Use it as a metaphor to let go and enter the flow. So, let's see if I can prop this up here so it stays open and I can still see it. Hang on, gotta bend the book a bit. There. All right, so let's do some tapping. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Well, that's not gonna help. I won't be able to read the book. <laughs> Never mind, you guys can take your glasses off. But let's start by the karate chop spot on the side of the baby finger. I like doing both together, but you can do one if you prefer. So we're gonna do three setup statements. Yes, there it is again. Yes, go with the flow to get where you want to go. Absolutely. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for the sunshine. So we're just tapping these two together. Three setup statements. Even though I'm not feeling in flow, you repeat it out loud, I still love and accept myself. Even though the flow is a little bumpy right now, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing next, I still love and accept myself. Okay, inside corner of the eyebrows. You can do one side or the other or both. I like doing both. Figure I might as well get double the bang for my buck, right? So, going with the flow. Outside corner of the eyes. Going with the flow. Under the eyes. I don't know what the flow is. Under the nose, I'm feeling some resistance. Under the mouth, I need to let that go. Collarbone spot, but how? Under the arms, like where your bra strap runs across, I call this the monkey, I know how to let go. Around the crown of your head, nice deep breath, let it go inside corner of the eyebrows. I let go outside corner of the eyes and move into flow. Under the eyes, I breathe. <sighs> Under the nose, I flow. Under the mouth, I accept. Collarbone, I allow. Under the arms, I release all attempts to control. Around the crown of the head, I release all judgment. Inside corner of the eyebrows, I know how to flow and let go. Outside corner of the eyes, I release all self-criticism. Under the eyes, I release all judgment of others. Under the nose, I step into, let it be. Under the mouth, breathing and allowing. Collarbone point, loving what is. Under the arms, paying attention for the next step I meant to take. Around the crown of the head, not rushing the process. Nice deep breath in. Let it go. And what do you notice? I notice for myself, I feel a little more centered, a little more grounded. My feet are more solid on the ground. What do you notice? Put it in the feed and we'll see if we need another round or two. But you can use that tool anytime, anywhere. So I've, I've sat in my car at stoplights and done this thing, whatever. You can rub, which then is a little less obvious. You may pick one spot that really works for you. Like I like this one, that's a very soothing one for me. So I could kind of do this thing and it wouldn't be that option. So Lucy's aiming for clarity. What about some of the rest of you? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you hoping the process brings to you? I'm hoping for more of that feeling of flow. So let's do another round, inside corner of the eyebrows. Clarity. Outside corner of the eyes, relaxation. Under the eyes, in flow. 
under the nose, letting go of doubt. Under the mouth, letting go of fear. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Collarbone, embracing a feeling of awakening. Under the arms, inflow. And around the crown of the head. And so it is. Another nice deep breath. All right, cool, awesome. So that's our card for today. The flowing river, the guidance to let go and just flow, be with it. And sometimes there's rocks and our part of the process is flowing with the river, but then we can paddle around the obstacles or we may want to bounce our way through them. What the heck? Maybe we enjoy a little bit of rapids. Sometimes that's kind of fun, but being in flow. So today, this fine Sunday is a flow day for all of us. All right. So step into your practical rebelness and let's just flow. Let's just go with it. Let's see where it takes us today. I have, I have a nice shirt on, but I have my painting pants on because I think I'm going to go and sand a bunch of doors. So I think that's going to be my, my physical activity for today. But that should get my arms nice and sore. <laughs> So have an awesome day. Be in the flow. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.